This week I'm indoors as it's snowing outside, but around the greens at this time of year we often get those flat, tight lies, soft ground where people have walked around the green with their trolleys. We're trying to chip the ball onto the green, a little bit of elevation to get it uh, onto the putting surface. Well let me give you a, a little bit of a thought. When we go to it with wedges, and wedges are our theme this week in the newsletter, but if we're trying to get some loft onto the back of the ball, we're trying to get the ball often into the middle of the face. You can see how much I'm leaning the shaft forwards to try and make that happen. That in itself deal offs the club, but it also brings in that sharp edge, the leading edge of the wedge, as it comes in to hit the ground. If we catch it just a fraction before the ball, we get that duffer, the one that doesn't go too far. So by leaning the shaft forwards, we de-loft it, defeating a bit of the object. We bring that sharp edge into play and it becomes very easy to duff the ball. How would I play it? Well, let me give you a thought. First of all, with my putter, it skids across the surface. So I could put it. The ball is likely to jump up in the air as the ground is uneven, give me a little bit of loft, but I'm more worried about pace. Can I actually get it onto the green, take away the duffer? So by having the putter, it's a bit more of a vertical shaft, it skids across the surface. If we took that into our wedge play and actually thought about it, if we put our wedge almost vertical, whilst we may catch it near the bottom, the bottom couple of grooves, we should still get some loft on it. We bring the bounce into play, so if we do catch it a little bit before the ball, we should still cross the, skid across the surface and get some loft. So my thinking is, why don't you put it with your wedge? Hold it the same, swing it the same, skim across the surface and give it that little bit of loft. It'll take away the dig, it'll take away the fat shot. The worst thing you might do is thin it and then it's a bit like playing it with your putter. Hopefully we'll still get a bit of hump, bump and over and onto the green. So try it. Swing your wedge like a putter and see if you can get that elevation off those scrubby tight lies.